These 10 devil fruits are so, so overpowered that it makes the rotation fruit seem like a joke. Let's just say that if you dream of being able to fly, this might be one of the worst ways to wish for it. It's said that good users make a bad devil fruit work, but this power list will make you think otherwise, because they're so broken that any user would become a powerhouse just by having it. Now that we've got so many new devil fruits in the recent chapters, and we learned a couple of things from Vegapunk about how these devil fruits come into existence, we've got a whole new perspective to look at them. So in this video, we'll be analyzing what I believe to be the 10 most overpowered devil fruits in One Piece, but there's a catch, because this list won't be based on sheer destructive power alone. That would be a bit boring. Instead, we'll focus on the special qualities of the fruit, their possible impact on the world, how powerful they are in the context of the One Piece systems and characteristics, and how they excel in their best possible use. Power will still be relevant of course, but not the only thing we're looking at. Hey there, I'm Jadi, and welcome to my YouTube channel, the source of the juiciest One Piece videos. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, as it helps to grow the channel. Now let's begin. Most of the fruits on our list give their users awesome powers, but our number 10 is one that mainly focuses on giving power to allies. The Kobo Kobo no Mi, or Pump Up Fruit, allows the user to increase other people's fighting spirits and physical strength, rallying them to battle by awakening their latent combat abilities only by using words. This fruit has not been confirmed to give the user powers as well, and also has a somewhat big weakness of being dependent on the recipients being willing to fight. However, it's one of those powers that put to good use, can actually change the world's dynamics through revolution, or turn the tide of existing wars. Currently held by Bello Betty, the commander of the East Army of the Revolutionaries, you can hardly think of a better fruit for one of their top people and their purpose. In many ways, this fruit is almost the opposite version of Perona's Hollow Hollow Fruit, which weakens the fighting spirit of the target. However, the pump pump power is an area of effect that affects other people by words alone, and the fact that it has no limit to how many people it can rally makes it a really fearsome power. The power increase is no joke at all by the way, as it made regular citizens able to fend off pirates from the new world, and we could imagine a situation like Hody and his 100,000 men being rallied to defeat the Straw Hats for example. Fair to say, it would have been a much harder fight. It's clear that the desire to encourage or the desire to be encouraged is a core human desire. Everybody loves to be rallied to action, although some people prefer to be whipped into action, but I'll let you folks decide that for yourselves. For our number 9, we've got the Zushi Zushi no Mi or Press Press Fruit, which allows the user to create and manipulate gravitational forces. It's currently held by the Admiral Fujitora, and this fruit is a bit broken for a couple of reasons. First, it has one of the biggest ranges of any devil fruit we have seen thus far, as the user is able to summon meteors and objects from the sky and even space. Second, it doesn't have any limit or conditioning to the target, it can be living things or objects of any size. And third, the user is able to make many gravitational fields at the same time, enabling the possibility of affecting the terrain and objects while using single target attacks. And to top it all off, of course, they can also use this fruit to fly and traverse big distances. This fruit is effectively a more complete version of Shiki's Float Float Fruit in a way. While it's in the hands of a character with a good sense of justice, we could definitely see a world where this fruit would be used by the antagonist to sink islands into the sea. If the user is able to summon any meteor in the world, or even bring a sky island down, it would mean that destructiveness would be on par with an ancient weapon, or a copy like the Mother Flame and depending on the meteor size, it could even change the world's landscape as we know it. It's interesting to think about what dreams made this fruit come into existence. It could very well be the desire to attract, to bring people closer to you, or maybe to not be alone. If true, it's a really powerful wish because it created the damn powerhouse of a devil fruit. At number 8, we've got the recently revealed Shima Shima no Mi, or Isle Isle Fruit, currently held by the Blackbeard Pirate's fourth captain, Avalo Pizarro. By eating this fruit, the the user becomes an island human, capable of assimilating themselves with the environment of any island and manipulating it. While this seems like a not so great fruit for combat for example, I think there are a couple of things that make it super powerful. First, the user becomes basically omniscient of the island as a whole, so it can detect battles, escapes and whereabouts, and is sensitive to all actions that happen on the island. Second is that it doesn't discriminate between natural or artificial constructions, so both mountains and buildings are able to be manipulated. Also, this would make it so the user can effectively teleport
teleport everywhere on the island and find anything within the island it's searching for, maybe even poneglyphs. Although we've not seen this fruit in a lot of action yet, if it doesn't have any limitations on the size of the island it's capable to assimilate with, it's a bit scary. It could potentially merge with any land mass isolated by the ocean, so you can probably think of a few ways that this could be totally broken, combined with Observation Haki for example. As I see it, it's kind of a better version of Pika's stone stone fruit, essentially, and we can also infer that this user is able to completely change the terrain or destroy or basically factory reset the whole island, which could be incredibly destructive. In addition to this, there's yet another power that I thought could be awesome as well. If the user is able to merge and manipulate an island, it would be really cool if they could change the magnetic signature of the island and immediately set the crew's log pose, which could provide an awesome advantage in navigating the Grand Line. Thinking about the dream behind the fruit though, I definitely could see this fruit being created by the wish to see an island, maybe by a dying pirate lost at sea. After all, if you're stuck in the sea, I can't imagine a more powerful wish than that of seeing land. Our number 7 on this list is another recently revealed and obviously overpowered devil fruit, the Wapu Wapu no Mi, or Warp Warp Fruit, which was eaten by the third Blackbeard Pirates Captain Van Auger, allows the user to teleport themselves and others from location to location. While it's unclear as of yet if there's any limitation to the ability range, just the fact that both allies and presumably enemies can be subject to this fruit's powers is enough to be broken. This fruit does not appear to give one any other special fighting ability, but in a world where you're dependent on ships to traverse great distances and you're at the mercy of the sea as a devil fruit user, this ability stands out for giving the most flexibility in terms of movement of all devil fruit so far we know. We know it's able to warp multiple users at once, which just makes it more unfair honestly as we can see when the blackbeards are chasing the hard pirates, making it super effective for hunting fleeing opponents. So even though it has no direct offensive power, I can't think of a better fruit that would suit a bigger number of characters. It just makes any strong non-fruit user stronger by default, and it can be used effectively for both single and team combat. And if it can actually affect opponents, it would make you the absolute best shooter around because you could move your target into your sights, which would totally not be cheating. It's kind of awesome we get to see this fruit in One Piece, because we have so many powers that include teleportation or something very close to it, like we'll see later on this list, but now we get to have the real deal. The only thing that really conditions its power not being higher on this list is the fact that we don't know the limits in terms of how far it can warp or the size of the user being teleported for example. If he's able to warp San Juan Wolf that would be kinda nuts right? The dream that made this fruit is probably a desire that many know too well. The wish to be transported to another place or simply the wish to not be where you are. Like my dream to one day go to Japan, which may happen one day if you click that sub button at warp speed. Coming in at number 6, we've got none other than the Mori Mori no Mi or the Woods Woods Fruit. Currently held by the Admiral Ryokugo, the user of this Logia Fruit becomes a forest human capable of creating, controlling or becoming any type of flora. Like all Logia Fruits, the user's body is impervious to damage due to it being an elemental power, even though it's a physical element much like Kuzan's Ice Fruit. However, this makes it much more directly overpowering because it can create multiple different types of flora for different purposes like using vines and roots to ensnare the opponents, deploy stabbing plants that absorb the liquid of any opponent like crocodile's fruit, regenerate themselves from a sapling and even fly by using spinning flowers like a natural jetpack. And of course, the user is also able to coat all the generated flora in Haki for more power. Admiral Ryokugo is masterful at using this fruit, even being able to ward against fire which is the fruit's natural weakness. But what makes this fruit so special in my opinion is the actual effect that it can have on the environment. It has the power to transform barren land into basically an oasis, and this makes me wonder about the power that this fruit holds in the story. It makes me think of Arabasta and how somebody would dream of the power to create a lush forest from a barren and wasteland. If the fruit can create any flora, it can presumably create any tree with any fruit, any poisonous plant or chemical agent, and this means it would also be able to create any medicinal plant, which combined with the ability to change the landscape makes it one of the most powerful and encompassing devil fruits in terms of application, flexibility and strength it provides its user. 
Coming in at number 5, we've got a fan favorite, the Ope Ope no Mi or Operation Operation Fruit, currently held by our boy Trafalgar Law. This devil fruit enables the user to create a spherical space or room within which they have complete control, including the ability to manipulate objects and perform surgeries on others. This is one of the most powerful and coveted devil fruits in One Piece, especially due to its unique power to grant eternal youth, although it requires the user to lose their life to perform it. This fruit is literally OP because of two many reasons. The user is able to warp and exchange the place of anything and anyone within the space, it's able to switch actual souls between bodies, deploy high voltage destructive attacks, and of course, its signature move of cutting people and attaching them to different things or other people. When awakened, the user is able to imbue objects with the properties of the room, which undercuts its main weakness of not being able to use their powers outside of the space. Other weaknesses include the user only being able to summon one room at a time, having to perform gestures to complete the attack, and its usage being very energy intensive. Unlike other fruits, we've got some direct quotes that we can use to infer the desire that brought it into existence from none else than Doflamingo. If used by someone wise, the Yope Ope no Mi can fulfill a dream that humanity has had since ancient times. I would say that this is either the desire to live forever or the desire to save someone from death. I'm kind of torn between these two. What do you think? Either way, it's clear that this fruit has already influenced the world in a very meaningful way. After all, we know Imu has been alive for over over 800 years and the Operation Fruit is the only known power that we know for sure to be able to extend a person's youth for eternity. Not only that, it's a fruit that could easily make the user become the world's greatest doctor and really have a positive impact on the world by healing people, creating medicine and even make my dream to become a barrel man come true. Our number 4 is in a way the antagonist of our number 5 and also the shakiest entry on this list because we don't know that much about this fruit, but hear me out. The Shiku Shiku no Mi, or Sik Sik Fruit, currently held by Doc Q, the ninth captain of the Blackbeard Pirates, allows the user to inflict diseases on opponents. While we haven't yet seen this fruit in action completely, I'm adding it to the list due to a few broken capabilities that we're able to see. In the example we saw, Doc Q is using a very particular and interesting disease of feminization that turns male into females, but he does it, presumably, this is not actually confirmed, from a ranged position. But what is confirmed is that the disease is created is contagious, so it's safe to say that the user of this fruit is able to create plagues and pandemic diseases that can spread indefinitely through populations. While this devil fruit's power can be countered by using a large amount of haki, it's not evident yet if they can be cured by other means. We also don't don't know if the user is immune to sickness due to being able to create him, but this would probably be the case if we follow Magellan's and Caesar's logic. This would make this fruit an actual powerhouse capable of taking down whole kingdoms through disease while the user itself is unable to become sick with anything. Besides, the feminization disease is super specific and out there. If the user can create any sickness, it means they could give everybody the same disease that afflicted Roger for long term damage and death or maybe instantly debilitate the opponent with things like bone and muscle diseases. Whoever wished for this fruit had to be a resentful SOB, but one could see how prisoners of war or other people could wish for disease to strike someone or a population. It's a super cool power by the way, but definitely one that the world of One Piece could do without. Coming in at number 3 on our list is in my opinion the most creative fruit in One Piece and also my favorite. The Nikyu Nikyu no Mi or Paw Paw Fruit transforms the user into a paw human, capable of repelling anything they touch with their bare hands into paw shaped bubbles. And by anything I mean actually everything. There is no limitation to the repelling factor as the user can repel both palpable objects and people as well as intangible things and concepts like pain, damage or memories. This fruit is currently held by Kuma but has also been duplicated by Vegapunk with the copy being held by the Seraphin S Bear. After eating the fruit, the user gains paws in their hands, which can repel everything at a high velocity. This repelling power can be used to send people flying far into other islands, propel the user across short distances at warp-like speeds, deflect blunt and slashing objects, as well as elements and devil fruit powers, and also deploy long-range area of effect attacks by repelling the air aiming at the opponent. 
However, the real power of this fruit is being able to store the repelled contents in these bubbles. We've seen the offensive power of Ursus Shock several times, but the user is also able to store damage, pain, memories in a bubble which can then be shared, transferred and accessed by other individuals. Recently, we've also learned that the user is able to remove their own memories, so presumably it's able to remove their own fatigue and damage as well. This fruit is actually very unfair and makes the list because honestly, it just has everything. Transportation, defense, attack, utility, kind of healing. It seems the only weakness other than being unable to swim is having to use gloves all the time. The desire that created this fruit is a bit strange to think about. I just can't find a wish that's compatible with both having paws and repelling everything. Maybe you guys have any idea? Coming in at number 2, we've got an absolute banger of a fruit that actually has no direct offensive power. The Nomi Nomi Nomi, or Brain Brain Fruit, grants the user the ability to remember everything one has studied or learned. The user can store every single piece of information inside his brain, which unfortunately has to expand to fit all the knowledge. However, this is not a problem at all because if you're smart enough, you can actually separate your brain from yourself and connect to it via Wi-Fi. Jokes aside, what this fruit lacks in offensive power is made up by its utility. The ramifications of being able to learn everything and not forgetting anything are very very powerful, as we can see in the story. Not only it allows the current user Vegapunk to invent and construct extremely powerful weapons, machines and satellites through science, but also uncover and stitch together the Lost World's history. This is such a great fruit because we're already able to see a bit of its power in the world of One Piece. Seeing Hackhead and contrasting it with Arabasta or Drum Kingdom, we could definitely see how this fruit can change the course of the civilization through scientific innovation. At the same time, when we take into account the Mother Flame, it's fair to say that this fruit is able to end the world as we know it by recreating the ancient weapons and even building more powerful ones. Unlike some other examples, the wish that made this fruit is kind of easy to guess at. I know for a fact that I've wished I could remember everything on the night before an important exam. The number one fruit is not at the top because it has the most destructive power, the most utility or the most versatility. It's the most overpowered fruit because it can affect pretty much every single human being on the planet instantly. The Hobby Hobby no Mi or Hobby Hobby Fruit allows the user to turn anyone into a toy with a single touch and can force them to follow their orders by issuing a contract. The toy will lose its physical abilities and if it was a Devil Fruit user as a human, it will render their abilities unusable as well. However, what's really scary about this fruit is the fact that once transformed into a toy, any memories of the person will be erased from existence in the minds of everybody who knew that person. So no matter how famous the person or or even if they're standing right in front of you as they're transformed, all knowledge of that person's existence will be deleted. It also has some offensive powers by creating giant nutcrackers out of 8 people that are actually pretty tough to deal with. This is such an insane power in the world of One Piece. This actually means that this user could delete anybody from existence and they could do so with impunity, as nobody would save them because nobody would remember them. There's really no other devil fruit power that's remotely in the same class as this one, because we have no other example of fruits that affect the entire world in such a direct and instant manner and that grants the user so many different abilities. The hobby fruit is not without flaws though. It requires the user to get close enough to touch the opponent and killing the user or knocking them out will cancel all the transformations. If a contract is not issued immediately after transforming the opponent, the toy will keep its free will and even though it will lose most physical abilities, a skilled fighter will retain its fighting abilities. It also halts the aging process for the user, which is a disadvantage for the current owner Sugar from the Don Quixote Pirates who remained a child, but could also be a strength too for the right user. However, I have no idea what desire materialized this fruit. I don't see how wishing you had a hobby translates into not aging and making people into toys. Maybe it was dreamt by a baby after watching Elsa Gate content or something? It's the only thing I can think of, but maybe you have a better idea. And we've reached the end, folks. If you're still watching, you're an absolute legend, and I just wanted to say I really appreciate you sticking around. So, what do you think of this ranking? It's always hard to say what's the best or most overpowered fruit, because everybody values different things about Devil Fruits and Honestly, I didn't want to show you guys the same old logis and mythical zone fruits that we see everywhere. So I hope you found this top 10 interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you scallywags on the next one. Peace.